Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and today I'll be showing you a video demo of an app called Homey that I worked at while I was working at a startup company in Hong Kong. So this is an app to create uh, apartments and uh, you can design them and fill them with furniture from real companies. That's basically it. And the feature I'm going to, we have an AR catalog and we have um, actual real estate apartments in, from Hong Kong. Um, but the feature I want to show you today is create your floor plan because I made this tool by myself and I, I think it can be pretty useful. And I want to go through the concepts and the, the features that you can see here. So first of all, here's a quick tutorial. Basically tap on the, on, on, on the screen to create different nodes and nodes will be connected with walls. So you create walls by like that. And you can move around the walls by simply dragging them and readjusting the size of your rooms. You can move the nodes as well to change the different shapes that you might need in your house. And um, you can also add doors and windows, simply drag them onto a wall. You can uh, flip them like over the wall or flip them horizontally. And uh, yeah, you can also drag them to reposition them. And uh, you can adjust the wall thickness which is important. A lot of houses will have different wall thicknesses in different walls. Maybe the outer walls are usually thicker, uh, etc. Another feature is that you can import a, an image, for example, a floor plan. And uh, this is important because sometimes you will get a floor plan when you're planning to buy or rent a house. And if you have this floor plan in your, in your phone, you can import it, then draw on top of it so that you can match the actual reference of the house you're planning to buy and so you can preview it on 3D, maybe put some furniture inside and really know if you want to buy this, this flat or not, this apartment. So yeah, and then finally you can uh, build it and save it and see it on 3D. Since that's what we're going to do now. All right, so we can move around by dragging, we can zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to start by tapping, making few notes. Here, one, two, three, four. And you can see that I got all 90 degree angles. That's because even if you're you're creating a node that is a little bit offset, uh, I made a function so that it will snap it to be aligned with nearby nodes so that you always are getting these 90 degree angles. But anyway, if you manage to misplace a node, you can drag it like this and uh, you can see that it will automatically snap uh, with a little threshold uh, so that it aligns with other nodes. So I can move this wall a little bit to the to the right to make more room here and let's make more room here as well. And I'm gonna divide this wall by just tapping here. I tap, up, tap one more time here and uh, there you see we quickly created one room here. I could keep dividing that room but I wanna keep this quick so I'm just gonna make another room here on the corner. And um, there you go. Now we can toggle on and off the, the rulers here that actually are showing real measures by clicking here. That's very simple. And the other thing that is important to notice, you see this wall, for example, this wall here is 2.9 meters. This is 2.9 meters. Let's say you were following a reference picture of a floor plan and you realize, oh no, I, I follow, I traced all the floor plan, but I realized in the floor plan, this wall here is, is 3.5 meters. And now here is 2.9. So if you wanted to correct this, you would have to change everything, move every single wall. But I made this slider so that if you drag this, you can see that, all right, I drag it and now this is 3.5. So now all the apartment scaled together and you scale, uh, so you scale everything together. So you keep the proportion, uh, but your walls become larger. So you can keep going or you can actually do it on the opposite direction. You see how they're getting thicker because the thickness of each wall remains the same, but you are just adjusting the length of the walls to match your, your diagram or your floor plan. Now let's add few walls before we go into 3D. So, I mean, few doors and windows. So I'm just gonna drag this simple door and put one door here in this room and um, another door here in this room and uh, we can have different models of of the doors uh, that will be on our server uh, right now this is just a door frame for demo pur demo purposes and uh, also let's put some windows 
So simple window, I'm gonna put some windows here. Uh, and maybe I'm gonna put a window here as well. And let's put one more window here. Grab it. There you go, and uh, another window. Wait, you see by accident I created a node there. You can simply press on the trash can and it's going to delete it. Also, if you have like a node, if you drag a node into a wall, it's going to divide the wall, by the way. And you get two segments, uh, still with rulers. And uh, if you want to get rid of that node, of course, you can press on the trash can and it's going to delete it. And uh, that should be updated. For some reason, there's a small bug there. But uh, yeah, if we drag the node next to it, it's going to update the, the length. So yeah, now that we have our doors and windows and walls and everything, uh, we can um, we can actually go and make this into 3D. And the process to make it, this into 3D was um, it was something that it took me a long time to figure out, especially the the floor generation and the ceiling generation, because it's a real time mesh generation. But I also had to make sure that I separated the floors based on each room, and. Um, so the first challenge was to define a room, how to let my program to automatically define each room separately. And, uh, but I figured it out by like, you know, counting the nodes and doing some math. And um, then the next step was to do something that is called triangulation, because I'm making a real time mesh generation there. And then the UV mapping, uh, you, I used some special kind of shader so that I didn't really have to worry about the UV mapping. Uh, but there was a lot of things to consider well while creating the floor and the ceiling because especially since every every room has its own own floor and own ceiling which you can change later on the materials of so but yeah that was the challenge in that part now we build apartment and we can see how this flat that we design you need to save it first so I can use a new slot or override it. I'm just gonna make something here uh, subscribe so let's press OK, your drawing is saved, and uh, yeah, another tutorial here, but um, what I want to show you is that now you can see that a floor object was created for each room. If I, I'm in Unity now, so actually I can show you, so as you see I can turn off and on and off different floors. These are separate floors, all real-time generated. Um, so yeah, that that's something I I'm pretty proud of, uh, and, and it was very, very a very fun challenge. So, but anyways, yeah, this is the 2D camera. Now we're actually in. We made the, we already made the apartment, and now we're in decoration, the decoration phase, which basically means putting furniture in. So I'm gonna press here the 3D view to see from the inside. Now this is the flat we created. Um, we can double tap to move. So if I double tap in the middle of the of the room, we're gonna move there uh, smoothly. If I double tap on a wall, for example, the camera is gonna go there and turn around. And this is an idea I had uh, at the beginning of this project. Uh, the design was to pinch like this, to move back and forth. So we do like that and like this, to move back and forth. And it was pretty, pretty annoying when you were testing every day and we had to like move forward and um, things will mess up and you know I came with the idea of like I told my boss hey how about we just double tap to move to that place and he was like oh that's a great idea um, he liked it and then we just did that so um, double tap to move very simple and um, now uh, let's do some furniture here uh, a little tutorial again I'm gonna go to leaving and um, all these are real products by the way these are the companies that we collaborated with. Again, companies from Hong Kong, so these prices are in, in Hong Kong dollars. Uh, but these these models were made by the 3D modeling team. And um, so let's drag this sofa, for example. And um, this box here, wait a second. So, uh, okay, there I have a missing texture because I think this server is quite old and probably some some stuff got uh, lost or something but that 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 should be the this pink thing you see here should be the shadow texture um, but it's missing so unity made it like that 
basically, yeah, these are the furniture, the furniture made by the 3D team in our in our team. And uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about the box. This box that you see here was an idea I had because when you have to download something from, in this case, we're downloading this furniture, uh, you have to wait for the server. And uh, at the beginning, we had just like a, an icon here saying loading, and it was very ugly. So I came up with the idea of having a 3D box, like a delivery box uh, with our logo. And um, yeah, it will like wait for a while. And when you finally download it, it will have a little animation. Uh, wait, that didn't show the animation pretty well. Let me find another thing. Um, let's try with a chair. Um, and you can see how it comes out from inside the box after loading. So I think it was a pretty nice detail to make it look more natural. But yeah, basically that's it. And we can select this, uh, move it around, rotate it. Uh, you can rotate it like this, like a picture in your phone, or you can rotate it by just dragging these uh, gizmos on the corners of the of the chair. Uh, you can, of course, delete it. Uh, let's put another chair if I didn't like that one. And again, all the textures for the shadows are missing. That's a shadow texture. And um, yeah, let's rotate this. Oh, this one looks nice. All right, I like my my the things I I put here. I can look around. You can also use the 2D view to see it from, from up there. And um, you can also use the motion control here. This motion control allows you to use the gyroscope uh, to move around. Right now, it, yeah, it's working. So you can use the, the gyroscope on your phone to, to look at it like uh, you're actually in the room. People, the clients love that when they were standing in the office and just holding an iPad and like moving around to take a look. Uh, they really like that. So gyroscopic view for the camera, like gyroscopic control. Um, of course, we also have a 2.5. We call it 2.5 because uh, it's like a it's like a bird eye view, basically from here. You can adjust the wall transparency, and um, let's go back to 3D. And um, then you go to the shopping cart. And you should see your items here, and then of course you can do the purchase, and that was part of the business department in our in our company, the business team. But basically, uh, we send a request to the shopping cart in our website, and you can buy this real furniture to be delivered to your home uh, if you like that. So those are, I think, basically that's the flow of the application that we made. Of course, there is a lot of other features like you can share it, you can generate a QR code, you can change some settings, etc. Uh, but yeah, um, most of the technical things um, were things I did. So if you have any questions or you would like to know more about concepts like triangulation that I did for uh, generating the, the floor of the, of, the, of the apartment or other things, uh, feel free to ask me and I will be happy to let you know more. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you on a next video. Goodbye.